Hey everybody, you're watching the Dude's Kitchen and Grill and I'm your man Mike Wolford and today we are doing ribs on the pellet grill. These ribs are inspired by my buddy Kent over at Daddy Dutch Barbecue. One of these ribs is going to be done almost exactly how he does his in competition and he's actually won. And another one is just a, a little bit of a variance of it. But before we do that, we do have a Fridge of Fame moment and it is from my buddy Kent over at Daddy Dutch Barbecue. It is time to put his sticker on the Fridge of Fame. Like I said, Fridge of Fame moment, Daddy Dutch Barbecue. We're gonna put him right here by Patty Joe Cooking, Ryan G's Barbecue and stuff, and Scott over at Dr. Taste Good Barbecue. All right, guys, I'm gonna put a link up here for Daddy Dutch Barbecue. He's a really great guy. He's helped me out a, a lot when it comes to learning how to smoke meats. And uh, I, I think you'll really like the guy. All right, let's get to working on our meat. For these meat, we're gonna use CPP, Competition Pig Powder. It is from Uncle Steve, and as you can see, Daddy Dutch approved. So the first one we're gonna do is more like he does, and he just puts over some oil on the rib. And that's what we're gonna do on this one. We're using some EVOO, you know who gave me the idea for EVOO, that's right, she's my girl. Put a little bit behind here, we've already removed the silver skin. Lay it in there like that. I'm not going to do too much here on the back, just because, oh that's the back of the rib. And for the most part it's going to be down anyways. But for this side, I'm gonna lay it in pretty good. This stuff is killer on ribs, man. I am telling you, killer. It's good on chicken, too. Pat it down. Give it a little bit more. You can almost not do too much with this stuff. The second one we're gonna do is with mustard as our binder. And this is how I normally do it. We are kind of running a bit of a taste test here, trying to see which is better. Yeah, I'll wash my hands after this. Do it across the back, pat it down. They call it a rub, but I don't know, I pat it down. Give it a nice thick coat on the top. Look at that. I'm gonna put some more on this one too. As you can see, it's already starting to change color and that's a good thing as these ribs kind of rest here, waiting to go. We're gonna give these things a moment to rest while we fire up the pellet grill at 180 and then we're gonna lay them down on the grill. Our pellet grill's up to speed now. It's at 180 degrees, but as you can see, the meat as it starts warming up, the, the powder that we put on it is starting to change color on here and that's exactly what we want with that. So we're gonna take it over and put them onto the pellet grill now. So we're gonna lay kits down first. Put it on towards the back. And then we're gonna lay the one with the mustard down. These are gonna sit for about an hour and then we're gonna spritz them with apple juice. We'll be right back, guys. The ribs have been on the pellet grill now for an hour. It's time to check them out. Look at that. That has got some great color to them. But check underneath. Looks amazing. Now this is mine. This is the mustard one. And this is the one that has the oil. Look at that. That's just looking awesome. It's time to give them a spritz. Now when I spritz, I just use 100% apple juice. I've done it different ways. I just prefer it this way. Give him a nice spritz down. Flip. Same thing. Flip it back over. Come on. Flip it back over. Right now we're running at 180 degrees. And I'm gonna let these things sit for another half an hour to an hour. We're gonna take them off and wrap them in foil. See you then. All 
So it's been another half an hour and it's time now to wrap these things up, start finish them off. So the first thing I'm going to do is put them on a piece of tin foil. And I'm going to add some butter to the top. I'm going to add some honey. Going to add some honey to it. Just going to drizzle it along the top. Then we're going to spray it down with our apple juice. Wrap it like so. Then we'll roll up the ends. And put it back down on the grill. We're going to do it again. This time with the one that's more like Kent's. I'm going to try just a little different. Just spray it down first. Add some butter. Like that. Drizzle some honey over it. And wrap them up again. Roll the ends up, put them back on the, on the grill. Now with them back on the grill, we're going to crank the heat up from 180 to 250. And we're going to give them about an hour and see where they're at. If you're wondering what I'm using, this is what I'm using. It's the Pit Boss Blend Competition. I dig this stuff. It works good on just about everything. All right, so these have been sitting in for about an hour. It's time to just kind of open them up a little bit. Getting some juice out of this. And it looks awesome. Oh, look at that. See how it's starting to pull back there? I don't know if you can see that or not. But I'm going to add more apple juice to it. I'm actually going to spritz quite well because I want it to get underneath as well. I'm going to seal this back up. It's not as bendy as I'd like it to be at this point. That's okay, because we still got a little ways to go. So another hour is down. It is time to check our ribs out. Oh yeah, that is a good looking rib. That is, oh my gosh. You guys, oh look how it just falls apart. Love it already. Love it. That's going to make it a little difficult though. I'm going to actually put some of our Carolina style gold on it. And it's just a barbecue sauce that I, I love. I'm not going to put a whole heck of a lot on it. The first one is down. Back onto the grill it goes. Time for our second one. These things are just falling apart. Love it. This is the one that's inspired by my buddy Kent over Daddy Dutch Barbecue. And if you could smell this, I mean, this thing is going to fall apart. I don't even want to lift it up. Quick slather on it. Nothing crazy. I'm going to put it down into the grill. For another 20 minutes and then I think it's time to eat guys. I actually only put these in for 10 minutes because these things are like fall off the bone tenderness. Look at this. Oh goodness. Look how they're they just fall apart. Literally look at that bone. It just just came right out. Alright guys it's time to test these things out and we're gonna pick a champion. Like I said it's time. So I'm gonna try mine first. Mm. 
Pork tender. So delicious. Wow. Really wish you guys could experience this. These are phenomenal. Now let's try the ones that can't inspire this to me. Man, I don't know. That's a tough one, guys. Wow. I'm take a drink. Try another one. Mmm. I don't know guys, those are spot on. You get, that competition pig powder or CPP just puts this all together. Get just a hint of the barbecue sauce, just a hint of the honey. Man, and they're just like, literally, tender. Break apart tender, guys, I'm telling you. All right, try this at home, make it yourself, look at that. That's good right there. Tell me what, which one you think is best. Recipes down below on both of them. Thanks everybody for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, comment, all that good stuff, share. We are gonna be on Twitter here shortly. These things rock. Thanks everybody for watching and remember the dude abides this time with baby back ribs. We'll talk to you later guys.